One of the dreams of uh, many Muslims like all Australian is to own a home. I'm tired of consuming this daily illusion is gonna drive me insane. It was difficult if not impossible. Uh, you, you can have uh, so much money or so much loans, but if it's not Sharia compliant, that means you, you shouldn't be able to sleep properly at night. Yeah. We're so caught up in our homes, our lives, our things. Magazine and television closing all the lids. There's a whole world out there, work to be done. Come on, everybody. As a dentist, I have the possibility to actually take money as much as I want from any bank and they would actually give it to me without any problems. In my days, um, I could walk into the bank and uh, immediately get a three-time manual salary as loan. Because the haram is easy to get, okay? But the halal, I think, is you need to put more effort. So with this in mind, uh, we started the organization in 89. NCA as a financial uh, institute or organization uh, has been established and, 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 and brought out to bring Muslims around the importance of you, um, uh, applying the halal system, which is part of our belief. And currently, uh, we are noticing like there is uh, an increasing demand on, on the mortgages, and you'll find out the majority are youth. They are more conscious about Islam, and they are very conscious about buying a home, and more importantly, they want to buy a home according to Sharia. Okay, up till now, I mean, in the past, um, we have not been able to compete, but now we are competing. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, MCCA last year performed very well financially. And, uh, I believe that the, the members are, are pretty happy about it, because here they have the, the dream house that they've always dreamt. They have fulfilled everything that they wanted to do. And in the same token, um, they are not uh, getting themselves involved into uh, act that might not please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all. It's fantastic, mashallah, you know, uh, to, uh, to come home every day and uh, there's uh, something, a uh, home-cooked meal or the children are back from school, uh, to come home, to embrace them. Uh, to pray together, you know, uh, to watch some television together, to go to the masjid. Uh, and having your own home is fantastic, Masha. For me, I was thinking like to buy my surgery first. And slowly I increase the number of the chairs, slowly I increase the capacity of uh, how many dentists can be working in the surgery. This money uh, is very important. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it very clear um, and uh, um, showed us the, the way that our money should go through, okay, or uh, brought from, which is uh, clean and clear and halal money. My target is actually to be having everything halal. So we should always uh, be keen to, uh, to uh, apply the Islamic uh, finance values and rules in our transactions. We cannot just directly exchange money for money uh, with a profit. Money, to be useful, must be converted in something that is useful in itself, some sort of asset or investment project, which then can create profit or return for the investor. In order to keep with this Sharia principle, MCCA might buy a house and then lease it or sell it to the customer, or they might be the agent in a process where funder is buying that property and then leasing to the customer. This is not riba. This is trade. This is why it's trade. This is why the transaction is permissible. Contract and the nature, intention of that arrangement is different than in conventional finance where you receive money and you have to return then more money at the later stage. MCCA provides uh, Sharia compliant uh, solutions in terms of uh, mortgages for the time being and as well investment. We were able to finance over or at least facilitate over 650 million worth of home mortgages mainly to, within the community. Every time I get, I have my money in the bank, I just move them to MCCA. That dividend is actually giving me at the moment 5.31%. We're very picky when it comes to food, uh, when it comes uh, to say schools, uh, when it comes to finance, unfortunately. We just don't do enough research. We don't find out the, the truth. The Sharia permits everything of the dunya except what it specifies as being haram. Uh, the authorities in Australia 
do not understand that you can do finance business without interest. Once um, a, a Sharia idea is um, developed, um, you know, a, a lawyer, Muslim or otherwise, can sit down and um, look, at the, look at the structure of what's trying to be achieved. First of all, we consult our uh, Sharia board and we go through with them uh, with the product and make sure that we uh, talk to the funders in this case, to our lawyers, and we come up with, with a final, let's say, uh, setup of the contract. Uh, and at the same time, before we start give, selling it to the community, we go back as well to the community leaders and to some other scholars in, in our community. We talk to them, we give them the product again, and we review it with them, and we get any feedback that they have. The contracts are very, very clear. They're very, um, there's no uncertainty, so there's nothing hidden in the contract. Everything's put up front. In terms of the attitude and reception from people who don't understand, even non-Muslims, you know, it's very positive because what they see is they see um, a product that is very clear and tangible. Making money is not haram in Islam. Uh, making money is the purpose of making business. Only a strong Muslim is about not only being a, a strong in Iman or in your faith. Because if we don't have the Islamic halal money, it's uh, how you can move, how you can do any, any project. We're connected in some way financially together because some of us are uh, investors, some of us are borrowers, and MCCA is essentially the interface. But it's creating that connection within the community. So again, fusing, I would say, a sense of cooperation. Alhamdulillah, yani MCCA, I know MCCA uh, supported a lot of uh, uh, Islamic uh, mosques, Islamic communities. ICV would like to continue its already established long history and record of cooperation with, with MCCA. The first support and the growth that will be happening to MCC is through the community by their support and by their patience with this organization. Success of Islamic finance in Australia is very closely linked with success of MCCA because this is a pioneering organization, being in business for many decades, providing millions, close to billion in financing, the failure of this organization would be failure of Islamic finance. I, I'm, I'm afraid that if we would allow that to happen, there would be no alternative in decades to come. It would be very difficult to resurrect anything similar. Advocating Islamic finance in, in, in order to establish that principle, uh, an alternative to conventional uh, financing system, itself it is an advocacy, a task that is more than a particular job. Regarding our staff, we have uh, their professional background and their experience that they have in the mortgage industry. But as well, they have the Islamic passion that they have and the commitment towards their community and their people to do it uh, professionally. So while people are looking at MCCA, they are looking at Islamic finance. We endorse this. We think that it's a sense it's so important that you look towards this particular group, towards uh, putting your uh, support towards them financially. There is a desire of Muslims to live in Australia Islamically. There is a desire of Muslims to live in Australia Islamically as well as have a fantastic life. And... If they want to do that, then we have to make sure that we've got avenues that can be provided to them. There are many other things uh, that Muslims in Australia need in terms of investment products, uh, takaful products, superannuation, many other forms of financing for small business, etc. I can assure you, as well as anyone else, that MCCA, inshallah, will provide all avenues for the mums and dads and the Gen X and the Gen Ys and whatever generations that come in future. We will be providing, inshallah, with all this thing so that it, they can make their life in this dunya also successful and the life in the Akhirah also successful. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatau wa fil akhirati hasanatau wa qina azaban nar. So first in this dunya, then the Akhirah, and Allah will save us from the fire of hell.
جزاك الله خيرا Come on, everybody, come on, come on, come on, everybody, come on.